All right. This ought to be the last one for a little while. But I should have seen this coming. Bloomberg is an extremely liberal organization. Run by a very liberal man. They're now moving to the electricity should be free. But only for those people who obey us and buy an electric vehicle. They're now literally saying, okay, sell your car for $12,000, go buy a $60,000 car, and we're trying to get the electricity that you'll have to pay for. We're trying to make that free, but we have no guarantees. You can't make this up. California isn't even saying electricity is expensive. Be cautious in how you use it to charge your car. They're literally saying, well, yeah, you bought an electric vehicle because we told you to, but don't charge it because the grid can't handle the pull. We have a member of Congress who crowed about finally getting her electric vehicle after waiting months on a waiting list and drove right past every gas station on the way. Never said how many times she had to stop and charge it. Ford and Chevy recently had a contest between a gas truck and an electric truck. The gas truck went farther in the main driving portion. It towed a, a same weight and size load as the electric vehicle, but towed it far farther. And the electric vehicle crippled in to a charging station after they called in the competition and said, okay, it's over. The, the EV crippled into a charging station and they still didn't have enough time to get it back to 100%. Now, I've said this for some time. Electric vehicles, given enough time, they'll become very viable. They'll become a great option. The price will come down. The reliability and the, and the abilities of them will go up, and so on and so forth. If we look back to the initial motor vehicles, they were clunky. They were uh, they were a lark. They were a niche thing. Go back and watch the Guy Ritchie version of Time Machine. He goes back in time because he wants to save his girlfriend. Spoiler alert: the book's been out for a long time, so it's the movie. You should have seen it. But when he gets back and gets to the, gets to the park, he sees what's called a perambulator. Now, I don't know if that word was ever used, but it's an extremely early version of a car. Only the rich could afford them. The regular people walked everywhere, or they took trains in large cities. In rural areas, they used horse-drawn carriages. It took Henry Ford perfecting the assembly line to bring the cost of an automobile down. And it still didn't come down enough. They didn't just instantly switch from horses and walking and bicycles to cars. It wasn't really until, well, I'd say, at least a decade or more after Ford perfected the assembly line, probably a good bit more, before automobiles became very common for American citizens and for the, for the world. Over those many, 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 many decades, automobiles have gotten more economical, more environmentally sound, more able to perform, and thus more people than ever own automobiles. And you have the old joke. Long ago, the rich owned cars and the poor owned horses. Now the poor owned cars and the rich owned horses. But that's the way it worked. Horses were not a status symbol. They were not just for sport, like rodeo and such. They were not just for work, like on a ranch. That's how you got around. When you look back at Little House on the Prairie, the Ingalls were not running livestock. But they still had a horse-drawn carriage. Because they knew they needed to get to town and get supplies. So they had to have a way to do that. Now, people have trucks and cars. 
electric vehicles are the next iteration of that. But in my lifetime, I don't see I, I don't think I'll ever see them become truly viable and truly competitive with gasoline or diesel powered vehicles. It's just going to take time. And it's stuff like this that is going to delay it. Because this is going to tell people, well, I'm not buying an electric vehicle until electricity is free to charge it. And here's something you can think about. If you created a charging garage that could charge 10 electric vehicles, and you put enough solar panels on the roof, to supply 90% of the electricity needed, okay? Say you own a large building and you have a large, large parking garage. You create 10 spots for charging electric vehicles. They don't have to be doing business with your company or whatever, but they just can come in and charge 10 people at a time camp. And you have solar all over your building running that power. And it's dedicated to just charging those those cars. It's a fraction of a percent, at least of what we're being demanded of. They want everybody to go electric, but we can't charge for free. Power has to be generated, which means people have to run the pot, the plants, and they have to maintain the lines and so on and so forth. Now, personally, yes, I agree. This is getting out of hand. With well. We, we we have to increase your cost because it's costing us more to deliver the power. No, it's really not. I haven't seen any increase in the number of people working the power lines or anything else that would be in any way able to excuse the increase in electricity that we've seen recently. But you can't just demand something to be free. Bloomberg is a multi multi millionaire. The people who work for him they're out of touch with reality as well. That's why you get this insanity. Electricity is expensive. Drivers should not be paying for it. First of all, you're never going to be able to do that because somebody has to pay for it. And the companies that you demand pay for it, they'll just go out of business. Second, the grid. California, at, at least California, is already is telling people, Please don't charge your cars right now. The grid can't handle the strain. They're also contemplating a mileage tax on electric vehicles because they're not going to get the tax off gasoline. So if people go electric, the government loses money. At least that's what they call it. And they can't stand that they're not getting as much money every year. So they're trying to find a way to tax the electric vehicle to make up for the money those drivers are not paying at the pump. So I'm going with this. The government alone will never let anything be free. It's going to come from somewhere. They're screaming that this medicine or that medicine is now free, but your taxes in other areas have gone up to pay for it. You're still paying for it. You're just paying for it by robbing Peter to pay Paul. We need to stop ignoring insanity like this. And I'm on social media, and I call Bloomberg and Arakistag and the rest of the idiots out. Every time they start screaming, just make it free, just make it free, I don't let them get away with it. And I'm one person, and on social media, I am an extremely small account. But if a lot of people started doing it, we might see them start to change their insanity. Maybe. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Please keep your comments civil and logical. We're adults. Please act like it. Start acting like a toddler. Told ice cream is not for breakfast. I'm going to block. Also, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on so that you'll know every time I post. I'm not on a schedule right now, so it's just pretty sporadic and random. Until next time, have a wonderful day.